Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to continue with the uh, suicide door build and um, we're going to go ahead and try to hang the door today, get it ready and lined up, run some door pins. So every time we put back on the door, it will be aligned every, every time, getting it as close as possible to being finished. Enjoy the video. Let's begin. <music> Alright, so we're going to start to put in the door latch. Um, I already started to drill some holes to cut out the um, notches where the latch will go inside. We're going to use the factory door latch and just stick it inside. We're doing it upside down originally on this side. It was here. So I'm just going to flip it upside down and stick it on this side. It should operate the same exact way. The reason why I'm using the factory one because it has these sensors in it that allow you to know if the doors are open or ajar. So I'm going to keep it like that. All right, let's go. All right, I pretty much got it buttoned up. Already put on the hinge. Put in that um, the bar. Let me take this out real quick. All right, so I was trying to get this door hinge to um, this latch to drill inside there so it could be more OEM, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go ahead and weld this in place. It has a um, reinforcement layer and it has a bracket in the back where the bolts had bolt up. So it looks like I'm just going to have to go ahead and set, uh, grind this down and um, put some tacks in there and then fully weld it in all the way around. and close the door we'll get that situated I tried the welds is absolutely horrible my first attempt of trying to weld something it's horrible looking but what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and grind it and clean it up make it look presentable all right
right, we're on the other side now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a couple of, um, a little piece of this foam out so I could be able to uh, work with the door on this side too. Go ahead and cut out a piece here and a piece there. That'll allow me to go ahead and work with the door without taking off all the foam. Because I um, still have to go ahead and weld in here. I have to be able to adjust the door in and out. So, just like the other side, we're going. <sighs> Let's get started. All right, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and cut off this lip. It has a lip on the inner side of the um, door, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out um, and get it to look like the other side because that hinders the door from opening and closing. Let me go on the other side here. Like what I did on this side, I went ahead and cut off cut off that lip right across the seam so what I did sorry okay what I did is cut that lip off and I put seam sealer back on there so when it's time for body work I could just go ahead and sand down that seam sealer and get it nice and um, even for the paint but that is out of there so the door will be able to close without that seam being in the way and it will also be able to open this way without that seam being inside there so you have to cut that out Thank you. 
All right, I'm gonna call it quits on today's video. On the next video, we're gonna go ahead and try to finish up the rest of this build. Um, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the Ink House Customs. Thanks for watching. Peace out.